tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, Andy has a new best friend, and he's absolutely killer. Tonight's movie, the classic original, Child's Play. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Nightmare Baby Circus. <laughs> anyways, anyways, coming off of last night's What the Hell Did I Watch? A bloody mess of a movie, Ebola Syndrome. I thought, you know what, it's it's time again to go to, to, go to a classic movie. A movie that... Uh, was uh, remade, rebooted, reimagined this year. And that movie is Child's Play, Child's Play. So, what is Child's Play about? Well, it starts off with the Lakeshore Strangler, I believe that's his nickname, Charles Lee Ray, Chucky, as his friends call him, is running away from the police. He is mortally wounded, finds refuge in a toy store, and uh, before he dies, transfers his soul into the body of a good guy doll because, yeah, he's got powers, apparently. Anyways, so this good guy doll ends up in the hands of a little boy named Andy. And, of course, Chucky has plans for his new body. One, to get revenge on his partner who left him, fled the scene when the cops showed up, uh, leaving him out to dry, hanging out to dry. And, of course, to get revenge on the detective that killed him, or his body, anyways. And then, of course, he finds out that, well, the only way he can get a new body, because the doll body isn't necessarily the best thing in the world, especially since it's starting to become more and more human, the longer he inhabits it, is to transfer his soul into the, pers the first person he reveals himself to, which happens to be the little boy, Andy. So, let's get into these scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I'm giving it a 2.5 out of 5. Nothing's too spectacular, nothing too brutal. Uh, a very basic, not a lot of death in this movie, honestly, and some of the death that happens is really okay. But, uh, for the most part, uh, we get a nice uh, sort of uh, shock treatment kill, uh, but overall nothing too spectacular. Two and a half out of five. Shock value, three and a half out of five. This is where the meat and the potatoes of the movie is, is all the tension that, that is uh, built up through the weird noises, the seeing the little guy run behind you in the background, things like that. Um, are the really key to this movie. Uh, a lot of great tension builds up, leading to some pretty nice jump scares. Overall, very solid. Three and a half out of five. Plot, I am giving it a three out of five. Look, it's, it's, it's basic with enough nuance and added stuff uh, to get a good score. However, it can't get any higher because there are moments in the plot where the movie just kind of just... Uh, just stops for me. Uh, there is a scene early on where Chucky needs to go kill his uh, ex-partner. And so he's at school with Andy. Andy leaves school and gets on a train and goes through the city and then goes through the, the seedy bed part of town, walks around until they find the place. That whole thing is just too long. It has no tension to it. And Willie could have been done in a much shorter sequence. And then when he goes and kills him, it's it's nothing. There's no there's no there's no tension in that scene. There's there's no stalking him, no messing with him, no cutting him. No, it, it, it just turns on the uh, the oven, blows out the pilot, lets gas build up, and then you know makes a noise so that he opens up a door, shoots shoots at the oven, and of course blows up the entire house. I mean, it's, it's a scene like that. Uh, a whole sequence just just totally just stops the movie for me and then just kind of goes, okay, well, this is something. And uh, also the, the, the voodoo death scene uh, was really unspectacular. And they, I think they, they had a lot of opportunity to do some different stuff in those scenes. 
And it really just kind of wasn't scary, wasn't tense, was just there and took up space and time. So, okay, whatever. I mean, which is sad because you balance it with some of the great scenes, like the the scene with the babysitter, the scene with the, the detective in the car is just great and awesome. And then you just have like these scenes that are just kind of like flat and lifeless. So I don't know. Anyways, but overall, not too bad. Three out of five. Acting, four out of five. I, I love the performances. Uh, Chucky, his voice is great. Um, the guy who plays the detective, I believe his name is Chris Sarandon. Uh, he was in Fright Night as the vampire. He does a wonderful job. The little boy who plays Andy does a spectacular job. He is really good. Uh, also, kind of, you know, kind of has that cutesy voice, you know, so it's like, you know, oh, you don't want the little guy to get murdered and have his soul taken by the stupid good guy doll, right? No, anyways. So, yeah, overall, the acting, very, very good. Uh, a couple parts, uh, a little miss, like the, the, I don't know, the over-paranoid, uh, scared ex, uh, uh, the getaway driver. Anyways, uh, not not that great. So not perfect, but still four out of five. Pretty dang good. Nudity, zero out of five. Um, I mean, not really any opportunity in this movie for for such. So there you have it. Um, perhaps if they would have destroyed <laughs> that scene with them, you know, riding on the train. Perhaps we, I don't know, could have had, like, something else. I don't know. Whatever. Zero out of five. It is what it is. Enjoyment factor, three and a half out of five. I really like the, the intensity, the, the jump scares in this movie, and the ending is really great, really wild. Some good special effects, uh, especially after some burnage happens, and uh, really, really fun, really great. I like it. Three and a half out of five. My overall impression is... A three and a half out of five. This is, after all, a classic that I think uh, everyone should at least watch once in their lifetime so that they know what the hell yeah, people are talking about. However, it definitely does have some flaws. It has some uh, exten extenuous scenes that really aren't necessary. And uh, But overall, I think pretty good, pretty good. Three and a half out of five. There you have it. Child's Play. And, of course, you know what? Tomorrow, I guess I'm going to have to review the other Child's Play movie so that we can all have a wonderful compare and contrast. So, tell me what you think. Did you see Child's Play? Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell for notifications, and... I thank you once again for joining me on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, and I will see you next time when we review Child's Play 2019. But until then, don't buy, don't buy animatronic dolls from some bum on the side of the street, because you just never know where he's going to get it, you know? You never know, okay? Just saying. Mwah.